I really wanted to like this one because I liked the last movie. Train to Busan never needed a sequel, but here we are at this unexpected and regretfully worst stop. 2020's Peninsula takes place four years after South Korea was emptied and quarantined entirely because of the zombie menace that still lurks in its darkened cities. A Korean soldier teams up with fellow exiles to return to South Korea and secure a truck full of millions of US dollars in hopes of starting a new life. Peninsula as a movie is a slow ride with lots of delays caused by many bumps in its track. We get to know the characters about as well as you might know a stranger you share a train ride with. I absolutely hate when movies show us characters but never show us why we should like these people and then they expect us to care about these people when they're threatened. This is an exceptionally bad practice because South Korean movies in general absolutely love exploiting emotional scenes with slow motion and lots of crying, and it's taken to the nth degree here on multiple occasions. But hey, you made it through that boring family scene? Well, here's your reward, buddy. Totally unbelievable, bad CGI car races. The movie frequently becomes an unskippable video game cutscene that never ends. Who in their right mind decided a zombie movie needed 10 minutes of badly animated car races? In addition to this, or I guess subtraction, uh, Peninsula commits every sin a movie as a sequel can muster. First, it has almost nothing to do with Train to Busan. So anyone expecting a reunification here with beloved characters from the first movie, you're on the wrong train. Sorry, buddy. Second, Train to Busan worked entirely as a standalone movie. It has a self-contained plot that doesn't leave unanswered questions. Peninsula's mere existence ignores all this and just creates more questions that nearly cause the movie to derail. Questions like, how are there still zombies running around after four years in a land without people and thus without food for zombies? Wouldn't they just starve or rot to pieces like we saw in Day and Land of the Dead? Peninsula's ghouls look like they just turned into zombies like two days ago. Some even still have fresh blood on them. How is this possible? It might have been an interesting idea to explore how these zombies are so fresh, but it's never attempted. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't think it would have been satisfying to find out anyway, because they failed at everything else. Why would they get that right? Third in the sequel sins is, a movie that's a sequel should at least try new things. Peninsula introduces absolutely nothing new to the Busan series as it stands, or to the zombie genre at large. Things like the society in it built around torture and brutality were lazily stolen from The Walking Dead. The scenery of cities abandoned and overgrown with vegetation were taken from The Last of Us. The crazily acrobatic zombies were lifted from Japan's I Am a Hero. The list goes on, but thankfully I'm about to get off this train. This is a bad movie. But you know what? It's actually scary, but only for one reason. You see, this movie was released in South Korea on July 15th to 2,338 theaters. A month later, South Korea began to have a huge resurgence of COVID cases. Now, I'm not saying anything, but wouldn't it be crazy if a shitty movie caused COVID to come back? A zombie movie? Pretty ironic. I give this one one character with the right idea about being trapped in this crappy movie. Hopefully there's a cliff at the end of this peninsula that we can all drive off it and end this stupid ride to nowhere.